Professor Ray here. Today we're going to do a profile of a famous French mathematician and physicist, Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier. And we're going to break this into three parts. We're going to do a very brief overview of his life, and then we're going to do a section that gets into waves, because you're going to find out waves were very important with some of the mathematics he developed, and they'll be important when you take different science and physics classes. So a little bit of an understanding of waves. And then the third part is going to be a fun part, because we're going to apply his mathematics to this over here, where we use an analog synthesizer, and we use it to create uh, different musical instrument tones using what we can learn from some of his mathematical techniques. So Fourier lived between 1768 and 1830. He was orphaned at the age of nine, and he was sent to the Benedictine Order of Convent of St. Mark. Uh, that's where he went to school. He became a military uh, lecturer in mathematics. He was appointed as a professor to uh, call uh, Normal, which is a prestigious graduate school, and then on to Ecole Polytechnique, which is an established science, technology, and engineering school in France. He had the opportunity to accompany Napoleon Bonaparte on his Egyptian um, expedition, and he held numerous political and scientific and academic positions throughout his career. He made some very significant mathematical um, achievements that we use today in things like vibration analysis and heat transfer. And in fact, if you take mechanical engineering or nuclear engineering, you'll undoubtedly take a course in heat transfer, and this has Fourier's mathematics inside of it for some of the applications. So uh, very, very important as it turns out. Um, his best known mathematics are what we call the Fourier series, and then people have taken that and created uh, Fourier transforms and Fourier analysis off of those. And they are used in so many places, and basically you may not even be aware of where they're used. Uh, they're used in signal analysis, so anything that uh, talks about transmission of cellular or video signals, there's probably some Fourier mathematics somewhere in that process. Digital image processing, Cryptography, so if you're into cybersecurity, there's some applications for Fourier's math and uh, cryptography, sonar, acoustics, and non-destructive testing, things like ultrasound, which is used in hospitals, for example, for imaging inside your body. Again, Fourier, is, uh, his mathematics is used in all these sorts of fields. So we're going to take a look at the fruits of his labor. And specifically, I'm going to look at music. I did actually my undergraduate thesis in electronic music synthesis, and we actually used Fourier analysis to try to reconstruct the sounds of different musical instruments electronically. So we'll give you some examples of that later. But for now, that closes this part out. We'll jump over to a section where we'll talk about waves. Very important to understand for Fourier, and also for science and physics classes that you may be taking.